So, ladies and gentlemen, we are heading into the second hour of my final ever session of old school Street Fighter fun here in the Street Fighter 38th Anniversary Collection. Thank you for being a great audience so far. I'm having a good time. I hope you guys are too. And he's going to pick Zangief, isn't he? See, the problem is Zangief is incredibly good against Balrog. So if he picks... I'll go with Bison. Then again, Zangief's also very good against Bison. <laughs> so, kind of screwed no matter who I pick here. See? Locked him in the corner. Very nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. The lockdown! The corner lockdown! It's worse than Champion Edition. In Champion Edition, it's unstoppable, pretty much. Certain characters can't get out of it at all. It's not as good in Hyper Fighting. <clears throat> okay. Who did I pick? I didn't pick DJ. I didn't pick the bosses. Oh, I did pick uh, Vega and Bison. I'll pick Sagat. I'll pick New Sagat. <clears throat> All right. Ow. Oh, 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 oh. Walked right into it. Dun, 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 dun. Boom, ba, da, boom, ba, boom, 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 boom. Oh, 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 oh. Oh! 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 Full super to the face. <laughs> One of the guys dropped. That was the... Oh, my God! was the Zangief player. I outplayed him so badly and locked him down with Bison that he quit the game. He didn't want to play anymore. I feel bad now. Because he was a good... A good... A good Zengi player, and I, I pissed him off so bad he quit. That makes me feel terrible, actually. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Come back. What was his name? Come back. I liked your, your Zengi. I'm sorry I did that to you. <laughs> Damn. Ass. Oh, no. No parry, huh? I win. If my parry come out, I one earlier. <sighs> oh. Prepare to strike now. Shit. Giant ass. Oh. 
Super! I did super! Come on! Oh! My anti air super would have beat him if he came out, man. Final round. Go for it. Doesn't carry. What the fuck? What? Have my moves though come on, he mashes and gets hits. Come on. It wouldn't give me my moves. It's pissing me off. Pisses me off. Can't parry the super. Can't do this. Can't do a regular fucking move. Fuck this fucking piece of shit. See so if I can find another lobby. If not, I'll just rejoin that one. Just the can can dance. Do you like the can can dance? That's right. The, the bison can can dance. I love it. <clears throat> Who doesn't like the bison can can dance? What is my favorite fighting game controller? Like, you mean like a controller to play fighting games with that's not a joystick? I have no idea. I've only had a few over the years. Back when I was, I used to play fighting games on PC, like in the 2000s, emulating fighting games. Um, I had a couple different six-button controllers that were pretty decent, but those were all like third-party. They weren't like you know name brand anything. <laughs> Same lobby. They weren't name brand or anything. Um, <clears throat> I don't think I ever really had a good six-button like controller to play fighting games on a console since I've done YouTube stuff. I've always had to use a joystick because. They're just not... I mean, they do sell them now. Like, Hori has a bunch of them, but I've never really bought one of them to try them. <clears throat> God, Alpha 3 takes too long, man. Alpha 3 takes forever. All right. So, we're up to 80-something likes, guys. Again, be great if we hit 100 likes here on the final stream. Of the 30th anniversary collection. Thanks to everyone who supported the stream. Looks like we're pretty much locked in at what we're at. Looks like we're not going to hit the vest goal tonight. Still, I mean, outstanding level of support for a Street Fighter stream. Thank you for that. Um, reminder that next week, when I start playing <clears throat> the Capcom Fighting Collection, daytime streams will be offline gameplay of me checking out all of those games, going through their arcade modes and campaigns. Night streams will be multiplayer, okay? <clears throat> so the premiere day, first stream on Friday of next week, all day long, we're going to check out, you know, probably like Vampire Savior. Then we'll probably do a run in Hyper Street Fighter 2 Arc Anniversary Edition. Then we'll check out Gem Fighter Mini Mix. Then we'll check out Red Earth. We'll go through all the games, playing through the arcades and try to learn their, their basic stuff. And then at night, I'm going to do some, some online play of this stuff. You know, see how it goes. And then we're going to keep doing that, alternating that with Sonic Origins over the course of that weekend. With maybe some variation tossed in. Because I may be doing something on PlayStation Plus. I may be playing Castlevania. I may be doing some random stuff mixed in there. But it's basically going to be all retro because there's nothing new going on right now. It's all retro games. <clears throat> wow, Roanoke times beat them, huh? You want you want me to do... Oh, I can't do the can-can kicks in Alpha 3. Can't do that. <sighs> no, I never saw the Castlevania and we had Netflix. Nope, and I don't have Netflix anymore, so I can't watch it now even if I wanted to. The OB Kobe HD says, I've been watching Friday Night Fights for a long time. Thank you. Looks the new collection is good. Me too. That's the thing. We can still keep doing Friday Night Fights. As long as the new collection is good, there's no reason to just play that on Friday, right? <laughs> doom, doom, doom. Derek still loves my Blanca shirt to this day. I'm wearing it as much as I can when I do fighting games. Boom, 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 dead. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> J 
Jane says he thinks he'll pass on the new Buzz Lightyear movie. Any reason why? I mean, to me, it's like, it's weird because you're taking a character that's supposed to be a toy in Toy Story. It's established plot that he's not a real spaceman, right? It's just a toy, a kid's toy. That's the whole plot of Toy Story. It's a kid's toy. Now they're saying, oh no, there really was a real Buzz Lightyear. Here's his real story. Like, wait, what? No, there's no real Buzz Lightyear. What are you talking about? Why did they do that? Big Corner Juggle! Shout out to Kefka who just became a channel supporter. Thank you, Kefka. Shit. Ah, oh, you fucker. back and bashed a punch. How dare you? Unacceptable. <laughs> uh oh booty kick. <laughs> Ugly booty kick. Ooh. I got an anonymous dollar fifty tip saying, "Are you looking forward to Final Fantasy sixteen or Final Fantasy seven remake part two? I'm looking forward to both of those games, actually. Okay. Then I received a fifty dollar tip from NDO one hundred three. <clears throat> Thank you, NDO, for the biggest tip of the night. With that, it is official. We're gonna have a vest. Okay. Um. Throw the Kuma here. I gotta get NDO on the leaderboard. I have so little time to update the leaderboard when I play Street Fighter. Seriously. Thank you, NDO. That gets us to $169 in tips out of nowhere. It's amazing. Thank you for that. And I have to do a vest poll, but I don't have time. Which vest is finale best? The platinum, the blue, the red, or the gold? There you go. Mm. Excuse me. Are you ready? Go. Yeah. Take that. <laughs> Are you ready? Go. Ooh. That's right, Derek. He says, Arlie Army played Sarge in the Toy Story movies. He passed away in 2018, sadly, with pneumonia. He was also the guy who played the drill sergeant in Full Metal Jacket. That's what made him famous for being a military officer. All right, you guys ready? You want can-can kicks? Here we go. Final Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Edition stream. We got to do can-can kicks. We have to do it. <clears throat> right now, Platinum is monstrously in the lead. Thank you very much, NDO, for the biggest tip of the night. By far. You fuck face. Can can. Bison does the can can. He's into your face now. You can't move because he does the can can. He said now you are locked down in. Oh. Can can. Now you're. Oh. He 
ruined it. You ruined it. Whoa, 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 whoa. That did not look right. Uh oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Oh, that's what I did. Wow, he fucked up bad. He was doing good. He completely blew it. <clears throat> he completely blew it. No one else is going to join this lobby, huh? It's just going to be us, the three of us, I guess, all night. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, it hit him. It fucking hit him. What the fuck? Oh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try Dudley even though I suck with it. I'm gonna challenge myself. I'm really bad with Dudley. Like gentle. Go for it. Right into it. You fuck face. The double corkscrew blow bait. Very nice. All right, Platinum Vest definitely is winning, so I've got to get that now.
platinum vest. Back. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. You're sitting here watching a cigar or smoking a cigar, watching me. You're not watching a cigar. That'd be pretty boring. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, cigar. Look at that juggle. Dun, 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 dun. <clears throat> All right. Graduating? Yes, I'm graduating. I'm going. I'm going to uh, law school. I'm gonna sue the trolls. Sue them for all they're worth. So I'll make like four dollars by the time I'm done. <laughs> Cause they ain't worth shit. They're bitches. Okay. Getting a little excited. Okay. Fighters ready. Engage. Mine's better. Ah. Boom, boom, boom. Very nice. Into the heat of battle. Go for it. Press the buttons. Whatever. Final round. Go for it. Run. Every time he's next to me and I do a move to hit him, it drops it or it comes out late. It's bullshit. Every time he's open, he just does a Hail Mary move and my move doesn't come out. So he hits me with the Hail Mary move over and over and over. Fuck that bullshit. Fucking stupid shit. Fuck that, I want a rematch. Cause I'm gonna fucking, I'm pissed, I'm gonna body him. He pissed me off. It's lucky, it's lucky as shit. I fix can. That's it. Had it! Already lucky as shit. On fight, he's lucky. Yeah, my moves won't come out, dude. My moves won't come out at all. It literally dropped every move I did. It literally, in that round, Dropped every fucking move that I tried to do. Right. Nothing came out. Not a single move. Now.
Almost a perfect for me that round. He hit me once. <clears throat> Final round. Go for it. Fuck, no. That's not how it works. What? Move didn't come out again. Again! Twice in a row I get the wrong move. Dude is insane. He gets so many lucky fucking moves. What the fuck? Again! Oh my god. So many moves don't come out when I'm playing this, guys. Drop it. Drop it. Doesn't come out. Drop it. Wrong move. Drop it. Like, come on. Enough is enough, you lucky motherfucker. Two in a row, he gets super lucky. Now I'm really angry. <clears throat> now we're playing super turbo, so I'll just body him. So stupid. Thank you, Ghost Boy, for a super chat. This is Xbox. I don't know what you're talking about. Xbox what? <laughs> Drop my move. <laughs> Boom! Level six, baby. <clears throat> Nice headbutt. Nice headbutt. Twice doesn't come out. Good night. Level five, baby. <clears throat> am I playing on Xbox? Yes, of course I am. Yes. <clears throat> One or two more against this guy, and that's enough. I want to play other people for the finale, but I don't know if we're going to find anyone. Nope, turn punch levels are not random. It depends on how long you hold down the buttons. All right, there you go. That's what you get. And that's all she wrote. <laughs> I gotta fucking beat him with Akuma because it's pissing me off that I can't beat him with Akuma because he keeps dropping my inputs. I can't do anything. He's dropped. Look, it drops. Dude, it keeps dropping the input. Stop dropping the fucking input every time. I want to do quick get up. Doesn't come out. Quick get up. Doesn't come out. Quick throw. Doesn't come out. Now. Fucking stop dropping my fucking input, you piece of shit game. Fuck this. Why? Why does it keep stuffing me? Dude, I can't beat him in third strike because it just drops my input every fucking time. I can't get it to stop dropping my inputs. It does it a million times. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <clears throat> unbelievable the amount of dropped inputs. One more time. No hurricane. Oh my god! 
Yo, I give up. I give up. I give up. I can't do anything against him. It drops every fucking input I try. Everything I do comes out late, so he stuffs it. Every movie attempt. Got my inputs again and again. He's right next to me. Lomi didn't kick Fireball Super. I don't get it. It does something else or does nothing at all. And he just mashes moves like Shoryukens and shit through it. It doesn't work. It only works in shitty online play with a bad connection. <clears throat> it's so bad. I can't play the game like it's supposed to be played. All right. Fuck Akuma. Enough of this. Enough of this shit. I'll play for real now. I'll play the game for real now. I've had enough. I've had enough of dicking around with Akuma. Oh, look, arousing perfect. Oh, he's so good. That's what I fucking thought. Can't block, can't block anything. Can't block, can't block, look. What the fuck? It dropped my medium punch. So I can't punish his opening. I didn't do anything. I don't even understand. I did net kick block. So he gets, gets away with a, a, a bunch of random hits again because he sucks. Fucking connection is baloney. Baloney! Right. Finally, I got a fucking combo. I can't believe it. No super that time, though. There. Fucking stupid game, man. So impo impossible to play online. Impossible to play online. There. Now, I could have played him the entire time. I could have just fixed fucking cannon one easily. Here, I'll, be, I'll try to be with Yuri in now, too. Are you ready? Go. Easy peasy. <clears throat> Are you ready? Go. Got my input again. Yeah. Right, I didn't jump. Oh, 
<laughs> wow. All right, I've had enough of beating up on this guy. I've already proven that I can beat him with the characters I'm decent with. And when I play with Akuma, I can't beat him because the game lags like shit and drops my input. So that's enough of that nonsense. All right, any other shout outs here? Oh, Little Crow X had actually uh, done a super chance of a few matches in Third Strike. If, I mean, I'm in an open. I was in open lobby. I don't even know how else to do it because the, uh, the lobby invite system doesn't work. Little Crow X, it never did. Um, so by all means, if you can get in a lobby that I'm in, you want to play me? I'm, I'm, I'm open, but you know it's not really working. Uh, it never did. It always was fucked up. <clears throat> Slayer, yeah, I don't know anything about that. I don't use any logins like Xbox Live or PlayStation to use OBS. OBS does have those links. Like, if you get the OBS app, you can link it to, like, your Xbox Live account or your PlayStation account, and you can stream through that. But I don't do that. I I have all capture so uh, devices and software that puts it through my computer, and I do it all raw. I don't use a third-party system to do it. So <clears throat> Here's someone different. The Daily Crap. What a name. <laughs> the Daily Crap. Uh, Derek, I know a lot of the actors from Toy Story. Not all of them, but I know a lot of them. This guy's not ready to know. So I guess he doesn't want to play. Yeah, I had to say, if you're, if you're trying to capture without a capture card, it's always going to be a rough time. Really. It always is. It's, it's never going to be easy. You need a capture device. And you need a third-party software. You need to kind of set it all up yourself. All these things that they pretend. Oh, yeah. The streaming's installed into the console. The streaming will work. Linking your account to this. It's bullshit. It really is. It's just not very good. <clears throat> I'm not finding anybody. Oh, there's a little crow. There he is. There you go. We get to play now. Cool. <clears throat> so I played with everyone tonight. I oh, wait. I didn't use Ken. Holy shit. I just realized I didn't use Ken in this final session. Oops. Let's get him in there. Ken Kniff from Connecticut. How can I forget about him? <clears throat> oh, God. Look at our connection. It's bad, man. Our connection is jumpy as shit. <clears throat> I did play with Dalsim. Yes, I did. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn. That was a lagtastic victory right there, baby. The same fucking guy again. Oh my god. Ugh. Okay. That's right. PlayStation does have built in streaming capabilities, right? Here, I'll do Dalsim again. Yes. Derek, there will be more TMNT on Sunday. And it'll probably be the second and final run. I don't see myself playing it a third time after, you know, getting through it twice. That hurt.
ました I think it's super. I keep trying to do it, I can't get it. Alright, Derek, you have a good night. Thank you for chilling with me in the final session of Street Fighter, man. Third strike. Oh, man. Hey, Boop. I got the picture. Oh, God. Oh, God. You see why this collection sucks fucking ass? Wait, what happened? Oh, I didn't want Ken. I didn't want Ken, I wanted Hugo. <clears throat> Damn it. I was doing standing target combo. Ugh. You win. Alpha 3 again. In honor of this being the final session, I will pick Jen or Gen, who I haven't used in a long time. See you later, Jade. Have a good night. Level three. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> That's what I wanted. Thank you, Broseph Joseph. Joseph for a, uh, or Broseph. Thank you, Broseph for Super Chat. Excuse me. Level two. Oh! Stuff the level two super. Jesus, fuck the lag. The lag is insane. <clears throat> so much lag.
wait a minute. I did use Zenyu at the very beginning. Yeah, I did. Use him again. Okay. Damn! A spinning clothesline that makes you di excuse me, a spinning pile driver that makes you dizzy. Running bear grab. Haha, <laughs> super kick. No sleep real vibe says who's stronger to you, Bison or Gil? I mean Bison's persevered and been in a million games. Gil's been in one, and then I guess you could say he was in fucking Street Fighter 5, but not really, because no one cares. <laughs> you know what I mean? <clears throat> Bison! Bison is the strongest. Yeah, Bison. <clears throat> okay. Oh! Stop jabbing. Walked right into it. Oh, no super. The game will not give me fucking super moves at all. <laughs> Barrel Shroud said tonight's been a great stream. I I'm glad you feel that way, Barrel Shroud. Awesome. We're almost done. This is almost it. The last few matches, everyone. Then this collection is officially fucking retired for good. And we're never playing it ever again. Ever. 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 How about Blanca? Blanca Blanca. Blanca Blanca. In the night. With the chest hair glowing bright. <laughs> Sharpened teeth. And sticky claw. He will bite you with his maw. Yummy, yummy. Eat your brain. The hill combo. Go insane. Traded Blanca balls. <clears throat> Cheerio Eater, you can stop repeating what Derek said earlier. Thanks. Slayer says he's looking forward to Starfield because a lot of customization and plans to explore. I, I would hope it's good. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm skeptical. I'm skeptical, but I hope it is good, honestly. I would like it to be good. Put it that way.
thing is, like, the characters are wiggling around, teleporting back and forth. It's just such great net code. Thank you for the 100 likes, everyone. We get 100 likes tonight on the final stream. I appreciate it. Another super chat. Happy Street Fighter 30th anniversary retirement party. Woohoo. <laughs> it really did feel like a party tonight with everyone coming out and people supporting and having a good time. As laggy and shitty as this collection is, it was a good time. <clears throat> Here. I lost a fail long earlier, so I'll pick him now to try to get a win in with him. U.S.S.R. Oh, oh, super! talking about last couple matches everybody end this on a bank I love the parry. I love to parry. I love to parry you. I love it. <laughs> I parry everything, the living wall. Known as Hugo. <laughs> Are you ready? Go. It's all over. The mix ups in the corner. Ooh. <laughs> all right. That's cool. How is it missing the grab after you parry? Because Hugo sucks. That command grab is actually one of the worst in the fucking game. It's terrible. The priority is way off. It's slow. He's just not good. It sucks because he's a fun character to play, but his moves are so inferior to everybody else's. <clears throat> like, the really only way to get to grab someone with that throw, they have to be completely wide open with no recovery at all. Like, super slow recovery. Or, you have to, um... Basically, have them just standing there like an idiot doing nothing. Which sometimes people do if they're too defensive, they'll just block constantly. Glad it's done. I mean, I'm glad it's done too. This collection is, yeah, I really hope that the collection next week is so much more fun. With better connections and everything. And let's face it, Darkstalkers will be refreshing too after having played these games for so many years. Having a new game in the mix will be fun. I'm not that good at Darkstalkers, so it should be interesting to see how things go.
Yoink. Psychic! Psychic Anthro Backbreaker! Alright. <clears throat> I think that's enough. Seriously, I think that's enough. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to say goodbye. For over four years, we've played that mess of a collection. Through hell and high water, right? Like I said, originally we played it, covering it as a new release, playing it offline, playing all the various game modes, playing it online over the over the year, playing ranked matches and the like. And if you remember, within less than a year of that game being out, ranked matches didn't even really work anymore on PlayStation, right? <clears throat> so, then... Starting in 2019, I brought it back. Around the summer of 2019, I said, if we're going to play old school Street Fighter, right? We've got to do whatever's available. And this is really the only thing that I could consistently play on console. So at that point, we brought it back. But, man, did it leave something to be desired, right? But it was super fun over the last four years on a weekly basis. Sharing my knowledge, right? My gameplay, lore, and everything that I could with you guys in regards to the classic Street Fighter games. It became a staple. Friday Night Fights became a staple in my content that you guys relied on. Every Friday night, you knew you could come by and enjoy the oldies, right? Come watch the old Street Fighter stuff. Watch me rage. Watch me get on a, on a street. And Bison coming out, right? And then as we added things like the vest and the hats and everything, it implemented into the things that we did every single week, right? So, first of all... <clears throat> I think we all owe ourselves a pat on the back for surviving this terrible fucking collection for four fucking years. Everyone pat yourself on the back right now. <laughs> I can't believe we, we toughed it out. It's so bad online. The collection is fine offline. It's fun as a history uh, of Street Fighter, almost like a museum of sorts to go through the history of the Street Fighter games. But playing that shit online is a fucking nightmare. The lag, the dropped inputs, the issues with glitches, the issues with the matchmaking not working, the lobby system being broken. I mean, oh my fucking God, right? <clears throat> and I want to say thank you all for supporting my efforts to continue to keep old school Street Fighter alive. And I mean that because, you know, outside of, you know, some, some big FGC heads, right? How many people play old school Street Fighter like this, right? Especially on a regular basis. Every once in a while, one of those FGC guys will play uh, an old-school Street Fighter game on a whim. But they're not heavily covering this shit. I guarantee you, those in the fighting game community, they'll cover Capcom Fighting Collection for a couple of weeks because they're probably getting paid for it, and then it'll be forgotten like anything else, right? For me, that this is <clears throat> the epitome of Street Fighter. It always has been. The old school, the originals, the formative games off of which everything else in the future was based, these are the classics where all that stuff came from. And if you don't understand the classics, you won't understand where these games are going. And also, you won't really understand the frame of reference why some people are disappointed at a game like Street Fighter V. What a disappointment that game was when you look at the gameplay elements of the classics and how they were ignored in Street Fighter V and the game was made into a mess, you see? So anyway, <clears throat> um, I absolutely loved playing Old School Street Fighter with you every single week for years, all right? Now, the good news here is this is not goodbye. This is so long bad collection and hopefully hello good shit because we're about to play a new collection starting next week that's going to feature the Darkstalkers games, also Hyper Street Fighter 2 Anniversary Edition, which is a cool amalgamation of all the versions of Street Fighter 2 into one. So even though it doesn't have Hyper Fighting and Super Turbo, it has a version of a game that has both. Plus, we're going to have Darkstalkers added into the mix. Now, admittedly, what are we losing? We're losing 3 Fighter 3 Third Strike, and we're losing Alpha 3. To be honest with you, I don't like Alpha 3. I never have. Over the years that I've played this collection, I've actually learned how to play with characters. For example, uh, Jen, I didn't even know how to use him. Or Gen, however you say it. I didn't even know how to use him in Alpha 3, and I kind of slowly learned over the years that I've been playing this collection how to use him. But for the most part, I hate that game, all right? So even though it was good for variety, I was kind of toughing it out every time I played it. But Third Strike, I love, and admittedly, Number one, that collection did not do it justice because it just played so poorly, and I am going to miss it, all right? So what I would say is, you know, right now, okay, I have a subscription to the PlayStation Plus Premium subscription. With that subscription, I get access to Street Fighter 3 Third Strike Online Edition 
from the PlayStation 3. Uh, I wouldn't be opposed every once in a while just for variety's sake to throwing that in. However, you got to understand that I need to have that subscription and I don't know how long or if I'm going to have that as an ongoing subscription or not. There may be some months I keep it because I'm going to play stuff on it and then other months I'm not. <clears throat> it's kind of pricey to keep a, a 10 to $18 subscription every month just to play Third Strike once in a while, you know. At least the option is available to us. It's not like we have to say, well, if I never play the 30th Anniversary Edition again, well, now we'll never, ever play Third Strike ever again. That's that's very much not the case. We have options to play it, okay? But, um, yeah, so basically I had a great time playing this even if, even if you saw how frustrated I was, you understood how I complained about lag, dropped inputs, trolling, and bullshit in this collection... It was still a treat because every Friday when I played this with you guys, okay, it felt like I was going back to the past, to the days in the 90s when every Friday and Saturday night I would go to arcades, I would line up, I'd put my quarter up, I would play competitively against people from my local areas. Then I started traveling and playing these games in tournament. I got that feeling back once a week when I did Friday night fights. So I want to say thank you to all of you who really stuck in there, watched and supported that effort for four freaking years. This is one of the staples no matter what i'm playing no matter what i'm doing i know that on a friday night i can come and play the old street fighter games and have a good time with you guys that is a staple thing that's not going to go away so even though starting next week we're doing something differently in the way we're covering the oldies all right i want to say thank you to those who have supported this game and i hope that you will continue to join me starting next week with this new capcom fighting collection okay now there is some good news for those of you who like fighting game coverage. Next week, there's going to be a significant increase in it. Because when that Capcom fighting collection comes out, here's what I'm going to do. Daytime streams for the new release, I'm going to cover all the games in that collection. I'm going to play through every one of them. Red Earth, uh, Cyberbots, Gem Fighter Minimix. Yeah, Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo. I suck at it. It's a puzzle game. It's not a fighting game, but I'll play through it once. Um, <clears throat> the multiple versions of Darkstalkers that are available... Um, as well as Hyper Street Fighter 2 Anniversary Edition. So with all those games, that's a lot of offline content to do. Plus, I'm curious what other modes and things are available in it. It's going to be full exploration of the offline content on the daytime streams. But night streams, I'm going to be doing multiplayer. So you're going to see me doing primarily whatever Darkstalkers game people are playing. I'll play that. And Hyper Street Fighter 2 Anniversary Edition. Although, if people are playing like Gem Fighter Minimix, I, you know, I'll mess around with that too. It's not a competitive game. I played it in arcades. It's completely unbalanced. It's not meant to be a competitive fighting game. But, <clears throat> I'm still interested in checking it out. So, starting Friday of next week, one week from today, full-on coverage of Capcom Fighting Collection here on DSP Gaming. And then what I assume will happen is within, say, a week to two weeks, playing it on and off with other gameplay, other, other games... It'll then become Friday Night Fights again, where every Friday night we play fighting games. It's likely going to be Hyper Street Fighter 2 and whatever version of Darkstalkers people settle in on as the competitive one they want to play online. Because there's a ton of them in that collection. But I'm sure people are going to gravitate towards either like Vampire Savior or Vampire Savior 2, which are the last two games kind of chronologically that people play competitively. They'll probably settle in on one of those. <clears throat> and that'll be the one that I play with, uh, online with you guys, Okay. So, also, supposedly this new collection has much better netcode. Supposedly the lobby system is supposed to be way more serious. Unlike this one where it was mashed together like a piece of shit and they never fixed it. It's supposed to be much better. Supposed to be. We don't know till we play it, right? I'm also getting the collection on both consoles. So whether you're someone who plays on Xbox or PlayStation, if you get one version, you'll have a chance to eventually play with me because I'm going to get it on both consoles for maximum coverage. Okay? So again, thank you all. We'll now give fighting games a break for a week, with an exception. Maybe someone might want to see me try the Darkstalkers Resurrection uh, streaming on PS3, the new PS Plus tiers. But that's besides the point. It has nothing to do with what I'm really talking about here. In a week, <clears throat> it is the premiere of the Capcom Fighting Collection. And I hope you will be here for If you can be here for the offline content, great. If you can only be here for the online on nights, great. If you can be here for both, stupendous. It's going to be a great time. Little Crow X said, does it have rollback? Yes, this collection supposedly has rollback. Okay? All right, so this is it. Dark Side Phil signing off after four years of coverage of the Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection. This is officially my last video of it. 
Thank you for watching for the four-year ride. It's not over. Old School Street Fighter and fighting games continue with a new collection starting next time. But thank you for a great time and for helping me to tough through these four years of this broken collection. I really appreciate that. And of course, to all of you here who were live tonight, thank you so much for all your support tonight. A stupendously supportive stream, obviously. And I really appreciate that as well. Guys, thank you so much. Until next week. That's it. Stick a fork in it. Retire this son of a bitch. You piece of garbage. You fucking pissed me off for the last time. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. That wasn't as dramatic as I planned it to be. It was pretty easy to delete, wasn't it? All right. That's it. Goodbye, 30th Anniversary Collection. And thank you all for watching.